Hey guys, it's Spaces Sims, and welcome finally to Radiant Tail Fanfare. So, obviously, the Radiant Tail Fan Disc. Uh, for anybody who's new, I don't know why you're starting with this and not the actual Radiant Tail original game playthrough. You should start there, uh, unless you've already played it and for some reason you just want to see this. Okay, great. But, so I'll go through my, a quick spiel if you're new. Hi, I'm Spacey. I'm obnoxious. I swear a lot. We do not play with the voice acting on. And, uh, we ramble a ton here. So if that's not your vibe, this ain't the place for you. It's cool. You don't have to stay. Have fun. Anyway, um, for everyone else, you've probably been waiting for this as much as I have. I'm so excited, guys. <gasps> the only thing I don't like right off the bat, okay, it pops up and it's like, did you want to do your options first? Hell yeah, I do. And then it brings you right into the game. Excuse me, no menu, no nothing, and I don't like that. So that's why we're on this screen. I can't go back to the title. I can't do anything. It's already fucking started the game. And I'm like, I'm not ready for that game. Simmer down. Um... Also, it didn't let me change my name because you could change her name in the original because, hi, as we know, we go with Spacey just to make it awkward. And I didn't get to do that. I don't, I don't know. So we'll see. Um, so with that, this is a fan disc. From what I understand, this is a lot shorter. It sounds like the after stories, which are... Uh, the stories that ha happen after the happy endings of the main character routes um, are very short and quick. Um, there's also if stories. There's stories that continue after the common route ending. And that's basically, I guess, Jinnia and Leon's route. So thank God we finally get to date Jinnia. This is the only thing I've wanted aside from more of my salty clown boyfriend. Okay, listen. Listen. Um, and then there are interludes, which are a set of unrevealed mini episodes taking place behind the scenes during the original game, providing new perspectives, fun and insight into the fantastic world of circus. Okay. So those are three different things. You can basically play them. We're using a Tome Kittens guide as usual. You can basically play them kind of in any order. Um, she did basically say it doesn't really matter much, but I believe Vilio's after story was designed to be played last. He was the last route in the game. I was originally thinking we'll play it the route order we played in the original game, but I don't remember if we did Pashalia then Ion. Did we do Ion then Pashalia? I feel like we saved Zephora for like third to last just because he's my favorite. I don't remember though. And I'm like, guys, and listen. If you saw the community tab on the channel or follow me on Twitter, you know that the game released yesterday and it was set to arrive yesterday and it was the one damn day apparently my mail carrier took the day off and there was a sub. I didn't know this at the time, but I was like livid because oh, it was supposed to be delivered by like 1.30. 1.30, it was not here. Then it was 3.05, 3.10, it was not here. It did not fucking show up till after seven o'clock at night by the time I got it was like 8 30 and I'm like I am so fucking pissed so mad because I'm sitting there like thinking of all the hours I could have been playing the game and I'm like I'm already behind because I was waiting for this to come out I wasn't going to start another game my next life as a villainous which is the game we played before this was done and I was right and I'm like I am literally and I cannot record next week at all so I literally had Thursday and Friday of this week to try to get as much as I could because I also have to upload and I need a couple of parts of this to upload. So I'm like, I'm so fucking behind. I know, I know someone's going to be like, well, that's because we, look, I know we changed to uploading daily and that was working out fine. It's just, we would have been fine if I wasn't waiting for this game. And like, you know, I'm mad at the post office and I'm kind of mad at Axis, okay? I'm mad at you, Axis, for being like, where's the, yeah, no, it shipped. But I'm going to take my time and walk real slow to dropping it off just so, God forbid, it got here a day fucking early. Because if it had gotten here a day early, sweet, I would have had it yesterday instead of sitting here all goddamn day waiting. The one day. And I can't really blame the poor sub guy because I'm sure he was doing this route on top of his own. So you know what? It's like as pissed as I was, I'm like, 
because he brought another package to my door that I had to sign for, and I'm like, I've never had to sign for these before. My normal lady just puts it in the freaking mailbox. So, like, whatever. But I was like, this isn't the normal person. It's like, this is a, this is, this is a different dude. My normal lady is a lady, obviously. I can tell the difference. And I'm like, so I'm like, yeah. So, obviously, so I'm like, I don't want to be mad at him. It's not his fault that, you know... It's not his fault that he had to do his normal route and then did ours and so our shit was late. But I'm like, seriously? 364 days out of the year, I don't give a fuck. The one day I care, and that's the day that everything's going to be... I'm like, can I? So, yeah. I don't know how well we're going to do. Today is a Friday, so maybe I'm just going to record a fuck ton today. I don't know how it's going to go. But this may have started up right away. It may be on a couple day delay. I don't know. And I don't know, because now after all of that, I wanted to save Jinnia. I really did. I want to save his route because I love him so freaking much and I wanted to just cherish it. But I'm like, maybe we just do that first and give Spacey a little treat because Spacey's a little irritated. Okay? I love this game so much. I don't even, we've never played this. I love Radiant Tales so much. Okay? It has become my new favorite. Um, Bird, I'm going to need you to simmer down because I'm not in a good mood right now. Okay? And you're pissing me off. Also, if you're new here, I have a bird. He's annoying. No, he's precious and cute and we talk to him, but he bites the microphone. Anyway, let's jump in. Let's go. We're going to do whatever this is, and then we'll figure out what the hell we're going to do. We're going to fly by the seat of our pants and figure it out. Okay? I don't know. So anyway, at first, I felt confused when I looked at this costume. Before I knew it, however, putting my arms through its sleeves became habit. My heart still races every time, and hopefully I remember all the voices that I gave everybody, because it's been a little while, and I didn't back up and do my research, because I'm too excited to do this. No matter how many times I experience it, the thrill remains. Also, hopefully the music's okay. Ah! The first person we hear is Jinnia. Not really. Um, I'll also have to check the music. I tried checking, and like, whatever, it seems it's gonna be very quiet, but it's, you know... I don't want it too loud because that's what gets you with the music. And it's like, this music in the background is copyrighted. And it's like, I mean, I can't help the background music. You want to have something, but um, it's just very loud to me right now. So I just had to turn it down for me, not for you. Anyway, I remember Ginny. It's almost time, honey. Oh, you can call me honey all you want. Okay, one sec. I'm assuming it's me. Everyone's waiting. I need to finish getting ready ASAP. I like how they put question marks because they're like, did you rename her or not? Yeah, there we go. Okay. We're not Tefalia, although Tefalia is a really good name. I'm not going to lie. I like it. But we are Spacey. All you missed from that first line was like the background scene and then it like, and then the text filling in. So you missed nothing else. Um, And then... Do you want to finalize your name? Hell yeah, because we make it awkward when they're like, I love you, Spacey. So awkward. Sorry to keep you waiting, guys. Finally! I don't know who's saying what. Took you long enough. Okay, we're just going to read this normal because I don't know who's saying what and I don't feel like making up voices for him right now. Anyway, <laughs> I guess you're good to go whenever now. We can't start the show without you. Good. You look gorgeous. The audience is waiting. Let's go, guys. You know it's our typical boyfriendos. And when they put their hands in, we know what their hands look like. But I don't know this, so. Yeah! I'm sure that's me. See, now the music seems loud as fuck right now. What does it mean to travel the world with friends? A treasure of tears, laughter, and all the rest. And the thing waiting ahead is surely a bright future filled with miracles. This is our final stage. I hope not. A stage leading to the future. I don't know. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I know, all the anger. I could have played like an hour of this. I could have done this first part last night. And I was like, no, forget it. I'm so mad. But I feel like, and I got mad again when I put it just took it. But now I'm like, I'm just so excited and happy right now. I should have just put it in last night and been like, and then it would have just erased my being angry. I don't even care. I don't even care if it's delayed. I do care. You know, but like, it doesn't matter. It's okay. We're here. We're here. And I'm so excited. We might play Jinnia's route first because fuck this shit. I think I just need to date my fucking beautiful bastard boyfriend. Anyway. Now, let the show begin. It's showtime! 
I'm so excited. <sighs> the only thing that's going to make it more exciting. Okay, also, why didn't they give us an Alest route, okay? <gasps> we can't do this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I can't skip this, and this definitely would be copyrighted. That's why I'm screaming. I'm sorry. And I, I wasn't prepared. I was too excited. I wasn't prepared. And I was like, fuck, I can't find my mouse. And I couldn't mute it. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I love this so. There's our fucking clown boyfriend. <clears throat> oh, I've missed you so much. Oh. Oh, and it's going to be weird, little blonde Pashalia. Oh. Ugh. I miss them all so much. I okay, I'm gonna cry. I love this. Oh, we get the spirits back and our parents. Oh, <gasps> here's the list. Ah! This is I've been waiting my whole life for this. I feel like because okay, when the first game was announced, I'm sure we went over this, but in case you know you didn't watch the first playthrough and I didn't say it enough, and I'm gonna say it again. Um. When the game was like, okay, Radiant Talent, I knew nothing about it. And they just showed, I think, like the cover art or whatever. I was like, that one. Jinnia, uh, first, first love right there. I was like, him. Can't wait for this. And then it was like, oh, he's not romanceable. And I'm like, the fuck? You don't. You don't. That's like giving us that and then being like, oh, but Jinnia and Leon are just there, but they're not. You can't romance them. What the fuck? Okay, so. I follow someone on Twitter who played Jinnia's route and said it only takes a couple of hours. So for us, I would be like, add a couple hours to that because we ramble and I'm going to like literally faint. Um, and said that it explains in his route kind of like why you couldn't date him in the original game. And I'm like, it's because the game developers are mean. Uh, but we got Sephora. And again, hi, we know me. I hate clowns in real life, but anime clowns are somehow hot, and I'm very confused about these things. Uh, but yeah, there was no chance that I wasn't going to fall in love with Ginny. That goddamn bastard is so gorgeous. Do we... Do we just do it? Do we just... Do we just... I... I don't... God, guys, choices are hard. Hold on. I want to check and see if the sound is really loud. So give me a minute and maybe I'm not going to have made a decision. I'm literally going to check the sound to make sure it wasn't really loud when it, because in the very beginning, what I could hear was very quiet, but now I feel like this background music seems kind of loud. So I want to see if we need to tone it down just a little. Um, cause like this, if it gets like this, it's going to be intense. Um, so I'm going to check this. I'll be back in two seconds. You won't even know I'm gone. Okay. So the answer to my question is yes, the sound is really loud. Um, but I can't turn it down right now <laughs> because where we are. Uh, so I was like, I can't, I can't do it. Anyway, I think, you know what? You know what, guys? As much as I love our other characters, I've waited my whole fucking life for Jinnia. So let's just fucking do this. Let's make me happy before I can't record for a week. Let me just go away for, I mean, I'm not going to be gone, but like... A couple of days, my mom's going to be here, and then I will be spending 4th of July with my family, so I will be. Um, okay, so I'm just going to open this. Ginny's route can be played from the start. It has a happy end and a normal end. The normal end doesn't lock any seat. Jeez, that's a crime. Common route save file 2 is for... I'm sorry. The common route save file 2 is for Aleste and Calivis' endings. I get an ending with Aleste! That's a... I don't... That's a... It's going to be the like way it was in the common route ending where we're just Ginny's secretary and you're like, it doesn't really count, but I'm going to pretend where we're going to fall in love with him, which is what we're going to do now. And then I'm just going to pretend and then are they going to come out with Fantas 2 and let me fucking marry Aleste, please? You know I love my bastard bespectacled boyfriends. I love him so much. I don't remember the voice we gave him, to be fair, but that's okay. To unlock all the dictionary entries, you'll need to play all the extra stories in the interlude section. Okay, well, we're not doing that yet because that seems to be locked. It's grayed down. Okay. If story. 
Common route. Okay, so I guess we just start here and... Okay. Oh, hold on, while we're here. Let me go to the options, and let me just turn down the music a teeny bit. Now see, it's just when it gets really intense. If it's going to be like this the whole time, I think it's okay, but... We're just going to turn it on just a teeny bit. We'll have to adjust it as we go and see. Okay, but... Right in the center of Eshelita sat Arthur, the largest city on the continent. And they're not going to give us King Arthur. We saw how hot he was in the last game. Give us an alternate timeline. Let, let, let us have him, too. Give us another... I mean, this could be... Seriously? Okay, they don't localize all the Hakuoki fucking fan discs and everything that they keep making. And all the things, and they keep milking it. And it's like, just... Could you release them all the... Please? Just... Okay? But, you know, they could do that with this one, because fuck if I don't love this game. I really do think this one has knocked Code Realize down a little bit. Like, Code Realize was the game that I, you know, mapped all games to, and I was like, I love this one so much, and this one I think is taking its place now. I really do. I'm sorry! I, I have my cards from my Code Realize game sitting up on my shelf, and I'm like, sorry, boys! I'm sorry, but I think I just I think they might have knocked you down a peg. You might be like at position 1.5. Look, I've got a lot of like this is my favorite game. These are my favorite. Like I have a lot that are in my top tier, but this might actually be my number. I don't think I've I look. I get excited for certain love interests in games, but I don't think I've been excited for a fucking game in so fucking long. I just, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I can't handle it. Anyway, a small tavern called, called Lieber was tucked away in one corner of the city. That was where I, Spacey, worked. Ah, flashback. Oh, to when Vilio fell out of the sky. That is, until I encountered Vilio, a young man claiming to be a legendary dragon. This event marked the start of my adventure. As a member of Circus, tasked with saving our prince by thawing his frozen heart, I began my journey around the world. I like how they give you at least a little bit, like, just in case you forgot. <laughs> I, I mean, I didn't forget the basic plot point. I might have forgotten details. <laughs> the first stop was Kalita, the scholar city. With all the intellectuals flocking there, it was considered Eshelita's brain. And there's Rady. God, I'm so excited. I can't handle this. I'm too far. Oh! Ah, look! Ah, just, just a little bit of my clown boyfriend. The second was Kultura, the labyrinth city. Its vast underground maze and skilled craftsmen were vital to its identity. I like how, okay, so in the first game, obviously you could kind of tell, like, okay, a, a certain city is tied to a certain love interest, kind of. That's where their main story. And they're doing it here. They're like, so here's your love interest that kind of goes with the city as you're talking about it. Like, I like it. Shalia. The third was Orion's, the city of love, a hub of art blessed with the adoration of water spirits. I really hope Zephora finally tells us he loves us, since we didn't get that in the original. The fourth was Ferris, the dual city. Here, those who took pride in their strengths vied for victory in heated arena matches. Actually, it kind of makes sense that this if story after the common ending would also kind of split off like you have Ginia, but then you also have Leon because you're, you stayed here at the end of the common route and basically became Ginia's secretary. So then you fall in love with him or, hey, we're Ginia's secretary, but then we fall in love with Leon. So it makes sense. Our goal was to make Flora bloom. These mystic flowers blossomed when nurtured with smiles and joy. To make that happen, we performed in each city, leaving a trail of success behind us. And if the Ginia's route takes two to three hours, you know it's going to take us four or five, just FYI. Finally, at our last performance in our theater, we prevailed. The prince's heart was frozen no more. Oh! <laughs> Again, you can't give us a CG like this and Ginia not be someone I can romance. That's all I'm saying. Rude, OG game. I had leapt out of my ordinary days into the big wide world. 
My companions consisted of a dragon, an information broker, a contractor, a gladiator, a furball, and an aristocrat. <laughs> With this ragtag cast of misfits, I couldn't catch a break on our eventful journey filled with twists and turns. Oh, I love them all. But those lively, exhilarating days I so treasured had come to an end. I missed our found... That's the sad part. I miss our found family. Right now with this line. But just in general, we had such a great found family. And I, I kind of love that trope. You know what I mean? And sometimes it's done... I think it's done a lot in games, but sometimes it's done a little better. Like, here you're like, this one's so wholesome and squishy and I love it! And other ones you're like, yeah, it's still, like, it's not, a it doesn't fill my heart with warmth and joy like it does in this one. But that's because this is a fluffy game, so, you know. Now that we'd finished our tour, I returned to my dull, ordinary life. How is working for Ginny a dull or ordinary? At least I was supposed to. <laughs> There's our CG that we got with him the last time. I have a brilliant idea. I'll be my secretary, Spacey. Oh god, I love this. Just as I thought things would finally calm down, a certain someone threw all my plans out the window. Actually, that was our first CG with Jinnia when we were signing the contract to go on the thing. Yeah. Thus began my new life that was both boisterous and busy enough to blast away my melancholy from parting with my team. Listen, Spacey, and pay careful attention to my every word. Yes, sir. I believe we've learned many, many things on our journey around the world, yes. Mm-hmm. Think about the major five that Circus visited. But though the details were different in each city, they all had festering problems that led to a decline of smiles and joy, right? Uh-huh. So look, yeah, you know, no matter how angry someone might be, one mustn't ever forget their compassion and joy. And that's my humble opinion. Yep. <laughs> and? You don't have to get so mad just because I lazed around a little bit. Inside the tavern, the air was laced with the aroma of pancakes and the stink of unseemly excuses. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, seriously? The music is, like, seriously fucking loud right now. Hold on. It's just very... I guess... Guys, I can't... Because, like... I don't want it to be deafening. I also don't want, like... Okay. Hopefully it's not too, too. I know we're gonna... It, we're gonna be messing around with it a lot. I'm sorry. But sometimes it's gonna be very quiet and you're not gonna be able to hear it. And sometimes it's like... That's really, like... Because sometimes it's banging, you know what I mean? So it, like, takes a while. I'm sorry. Anyway. But I love the stink of unseemly excuses. God, they had fun with this one. I wasn't smiling. Not even a little. My brow creased as I glared daggers at Ginia. Oh. I look away for one second and you vanish. And where did you run off to? Libra of all places. Come on, I told you I wasn't running. I'm only here to take a breather, that's all. I still love his little pout. You weren't doing much breathing while you housed that entire pancake meal. And you two, Spiria and Rady, you traitors! I told you to contact me if Jinnia ever came here during one of his escapes. Jinnia, too. A noble who has made a name for himself in our theater with, it, with his flashy conduct, the former circus leader. He has hired our heroine as a secretary and returned to his work life at the castle. You're putting me in a rough spot here. He paid for his food, so he's one of our dear guests. If you want to have your lover spot, go do it somewhere else. I got our hands full every day because we're one woman short, you know. Ah, you're calling it a quarrel between husband and wife. You're making me blush. You're making me blush, too. <laughs> Already? It's not a lover, Spat, and we're not even married. No, back up. We're not even fighting to begin with. I'm lecturing him. If you need a hand, how about from your friendly neighborhood hottie, Leon? I fucking love you. I'm actually glad we get to date him. I'm not gonna lie. 
I said that in the first game. Like, listen, I'm normally, like, I know people always fall for the side characters. It's very rare when I do. It's become more frequent lately. You can't throw Oliver into Pio Fiore and tell me that I'm going to marry Gilbert and be like, e but Oliver's here. Okay, you can't do shit like that. All right. You also can't put a super hot butler character in and tell me I can't date him. I don't give a crap what your reasons were, game. You know who you are. You know why you, th you think I can't date him. And you know I don't give a shit. All right? So, but like, even though Leon isn't my type, I still in that game was like, you know what, though? If we had a row with him, I wouldn't complain. Because he is kind of charming and goofy. He it really is the purple-haired impy. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. I'll start off working part-time. But you can safely assume that I'll eventually take over this tavern as Spacey's hubby. Yes, indeed. You know, look at him winking on us. If you're done eating, then beat it, dear guest. Don't you have your own pub to attend to? Feeling exasperated by the tavern squabbles, I heaved a sigh. All these men throwing themselves at me. <sighs> Such a hard life. After signing the wicked contract of the devil himself, I began working as Ginny and Sex. You know, all right, you know what, you know what, it was worth it. I know I'm going to be sad when we get to the end and I'm going to miss Ginia, but this was a good place to start because this is fun already. My life was turned completely on its head. Libra was still my home, of course, that hadn't changed. But now I could only work as a waitress on my days off. On most weekdays, I was busy working at the castle and helping Ginia with his duties. This was my new routine. Actually, helping isn't the right word. He's dumping his work on me. My job mostly consists of dragging Ginia back from his escapades. Anyway, come back with me, Ginia. If we don't submit the, those documents by the end of the day, Aless will give you another earful. When I pulled on his arm, Ginia stood up reluctantly. I like, okay, I was like, why are there glossary? I, I couldn't tell. Me, seven. I like how they've continued from the first game. An ordinary girl who lives in the capital. Following her journey with Circus, she's now working at the castle as Ginny's secretary. Fine, fine. I get it, ma'am. I'll go. Happy now? You can just treat Allie like a passing breeze. Oh, if only my secretary were a bit more tactful. You could argue that Ginny's unyielding personality is something to be admired. Most of Circus's members, including me, had changed during our journey. But for better or worse, Ginny was the only one who seemed exactly the same as he'd been during her first encounter. Then again, I can't even imagine him changing in the slightest. All right, shall we head off then? We only have the petition by the Cultura citizens and the financial statements left, right? Yeah, but there's one more important report I have to make. Aless told me just before I came here. I unfolded the note I had on hand and read the written text out loud. He says that the date for Prince Calivis's recovery ceremony is confirmed for two months from now. Ten years ago, Prince Calivis had been attacked by a fiend and had frozen his heart to protect himself. Recently, he'd made a miraculous recovery with the help of the flora, and by now, everyone knew it. Sadly, though, his heart had thawed, his body remained in his childlike form. Oh, is he gonna grow up? Are we... Did they, that's true. They didn't grow him... He, they didn't... Ate, but they did because they gave him an adult there was an adult voice did we see him grown up at the end of one of the other routes i can't remember according to the doctors he hadn't come to terms with everything and was subconsciously suppressing his growth i thought in the end maybe it was in Rady's route like at the but i thought in one of them he actually did grow up because they had voice cast for baby colivis and adult colivis Oh, I still... Oh. Flashback! Alivus, which just sounds like a medication. <laughs> I thought of that when I got the game in my hands. I was like, oh my god, thinking of all of our cast members and just remembering how funny the fact that his name sounds like both a medication for a flesh-eating bacteria and also a flesh-eating bacteria or something of the sort. So, it's understandable. I mean... How are you supposed to react when someone suddenly says you're actually 10 years older, so you need to grow up? Uh, kick, stomp, throw a hissy fit, and tell him to go fuck off because I will do what I want to do. And no. But to be fair, I'm not in the body of a seven-year-old. 
But mentally, yes, no, I'm not my agent. I don't ever want to be. It's not something you can just nod and do with the snap of a finger. Right. Ah, uh, as such, more cautious individuals have voiced their opinion that we should hold the ceremony after he matures. However, we cannot ignore the numerous citizens who have ex expressed their wish to lay eyes on Calivus and see him in good health. And that's the reason I've decided to proceed with a ceremony that will involve the entire nation. A most astute decision indeed, your majesty. If our prince stands before his people in good health, he will be showered with applause from every man, woman, and Aleste. Oh, that's true. I forgot that Aleste was, like, prince's, the prince's biggest fucking fanboy. Oh, God, I forgot that, and I'm so happy. Oh, I'm not happy that I forgot it. I'm so happy that I remembered it now, because, like, oh, I love you, you bastard. He's not a bastard. I love him so much. He's just a fucking... He is a Prince fanboy nerd, and I love him so much. From every... Aleste? It's been weighing on my mind lately, but has Aleste always been like this? Yes, your highness, he really has. I cannot deny that he's become more extreme since your slumber, however. Ginny and I had been summoned to the throne room in the castle. We listened attentively to the king's announcement. A less private opinion aside, hearing the voices of his people in person will contribute to Calivus' growth. I expect much from you two. <laughs> I never disappoint when festivities are involved, right, Spacey? Yes, we'll make full use of the experience and knowledge we gain from our shows to help in every way possible. I shall hold you to that. I ask that you prepare thoroughly and take on the upcoming ceremony with all your heart. I'm still trying to get used to everything, but I'll do my best. While my heart was frozen, I made a lot of people worry, and just as many put an effort to help me. I want to do something for them. King Vigonia and Prince Calivus settled into their thrones, and I bowed deeply. You know that part of this, when we're doing the ceremony, is all of our friends are going to come back, so we're going to get to see them all. This feels kind of surreal. Just a year ago, the noble visage of our king was something I'd only admired from afar. But now he remembered my name, and I even had the honor of direct audience with him. Well then, Spacey, once the documentation for the ceremony is ready, I shall contact you. Uh, please come to retrieve it. Understood. And you. And then we make out a little, right? Look, I'm not dating Ginia yet. Hey, hang on a minute, Allie. I'm right here. Shouldn't you ask me to do that? And even if my little secretary is cute, don't flirt with her, okay? Aless can flirt with me as much as he wants. I don't think I would trade Ginia for Aless, don't get me wrong, but that doesn't mean that I don't want to be in the middle of this. Because I absolutely do. With the side of Zephora, okay? If I handed the documents to you directly, you'd either leave them collecting dust or reduce them to no paper. So you're not going to deny that you're being a... F oh, so that was Ginny, sorry. So you're not going to deny that you're being a flirt. May I get serious with her, then? No can do. She's my secretary. Is Aleste actually... Are we... Is he not denying it? Is he actually flirting with me? Okay, listen, listen. I got a little excited when I saw Common Route Save File 2 for Aleste and Calivus' ending, but I figured I didn't know there was could possibly be a minor like, possibility that we could romance Aleste a little. I saw the CG, don't get me wrong. Like, you saw when the game, the title card was coming up, the little happy, so it's like, so, okay. But, like, that doesn't mean anything. They gave us, like, an Aleste CG or two in the first game, but that doesn't mean we, we didn't, we didn't get to romance him. But, do, are you, because, don't, don't, game, don't make me that excited. I'm already excited that I get to romance Ginia and I get my clown boyfriend back and then you might, maybe? Maybe I get to romance the lust. Maybe, too. Maybe I get my like Even if it's like a potentially... Okay, listen. I accepted it. I didn't want to. I wanted to fully romance Ginia, but you made me not be able to do that in the first game, but you gave me a common route ending where it's like, I'm a secretary! And in my brain, I can be like, and then we fall in love. It's fine. I can live with that. I can... I can write the narrative in my brain that now the fan disc is going to give me. Okay? 
So if you give me that opening with a last, like, oh, yeah, hey, and then a last, and maybe someday we'll fall in love. I'll, I, we are absolutely going to fall. I will get, I, you just have to set up the narrative, and I will run with it. That's all I want. Give me the opening. Because before, the opening wasn't there in the first game. It was like, there's a last, he's a side character, you love him, but that's it. Same with Leon, right? You had to basically, like, I got to write a lot more. I need you to just open the window, and I'll climb through it. You know, I don't want to have to lockpick the door or try to pry open the window or anything. I need you to open a window, crack the door, and I will bust that shit open in my own narrative to date those two. But now we're getting the Leon route, so I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, give me the opening, crack that window in that Aleste ending, and I will break that motherfucker through it. I will, I will shove through it, and I will write the narrative in my head that I married this man, because I'm okay with that. So, but but don't disappoint me now, because now I'm psyched even more. I don't think we're going to get through. It's going to take 30 hours just to play Ginny's route because I'm so fucking excited and I can't handle it. Can't. Oh, my God. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> laughing awkwardly. I watched their usual banter out of the corner of my eye, then dipped into a curtsy before taking my leave. A ceremony to commemorate the prince's recovery. Preparing for that will be a real task, and she's not even focusing on the two hot men fighting over her a little bit. She, like, girl, it's adorable. I'll have to work hard like everyone else so we can fulfill the wishes of those who have eagerly awaited for him to get better. Map! The map! The map! The map! The map! Can you... Oh! Well, we go to Ginny's house, but like, okay, so here's the thing. And then there's a save file, and then you do, but like, what if I want to go? Save file one. You unlock two CGs in the, I'm just scrolling through the guide. Like, fuck it. I don't care if I'm spoiling anything for myself like normally I do. But the thing that I don't like is... I want to, like... Okay, it's fine. We might have to come back here and go through all of this afterward and pick the things we didn't. Because, like... Go to Lieber. Visit Alessa. I just want to visit Alessa. Look at his little chibi! He's so cute! I just want to squish him. I just want to bite him. I do want to do the same thing to Ginia, too. But anyway, it's Ginia, so we're going to go to Ginia's house. I kind of almost, when we do a lot, I don't want to start at save two. I want to go back, skip through everything, and choose a list every single time. You know what I mean? But whatever. Anyway. The preparations for the ceremony were now underway, and the city was growing more and more hectic. We can go back at the end once we've done all, we've done Ginia, we've done a list, we've done Calivus, we got the happy ending, whatever, and we can go back through and pick the little side, those other side things. You know what I mean? One day, Ginny has sent me out on an errand for essential work supplies. With shopping bags weighing down both hands, I hobbled toward Ginny's residence. Oh my god. I Did the background change? It, the art looks... I mean, the setting looks the same, like the street. But it, I guess it's because it's being set up for the ceremony. It looks so pretty. Like, it just looks fancier. But also, I feel like maybe because it's nighttime, it just looks a little more watercolor-ish. You know what I mean? Like, the art style looks slightly different in the background. And it could just be because, like, we've decorated for the prince's, like, ceremony or whatever. So that's why it just looks... That could be what it looks different. But, like, I don't know. It's so fucking pretty. Holy shit. Let's see. New pen nibs, ink, spare mystic stones for his lamps. Then the newly released shade of L Lorian's mascara. <laughs> like L'Oreal. Lorian's. Plus their facial toner. Check. Lorian's. Genius favorite cosmetics brand. Though expensive, its quality is top notch. Hence why it's so popular among ladies. Recently, they've launched a men's collection. And Genia's like, I don't care. I will wear mascara and make my eyelashes beautiful. More men need to be like this, is all I'm saying. Seriously. He's fabulous and wears makeup. Why was I not going to be in love with him? A couple items that hardly sounded essential were mixed in. 
But if I didn't buy these, I had the feeling that he'd use it as, as an excuse to slack off. So I figured I'd turn a blind eye for now. Once tomorrow arrives, ditching his work won't even be an option, no matter what he thinks. Now that the ceremony had been confirmed, the king had summoned Jinnia this morning and assigned him to the relevant tasks. It was said to be a huge event with all kinds of jobs involved, such as setting up the venue, security, and advertising. As for Jinnia, he was scheduling the man he was a scheduling manager of sorts. He'd been overseeing the arrivals of guests from outside Arthur. Kultura's Sentinel or Ferris's arena owners might be among them. Kultura's Sentinel. You know I screamed internally and I'm screaming externally because you know that Zephora. His job included welcoming, entertaining, and arranging lodging for influential figures in the political world. Another one of those troublesome jobs. Aren't there more suitable candidates? We're short on hands. Quit whining and get to work. We chose you because you traveled with circus and fostered many connections in each city. Your skills fit the bill, do they not? Uh, the weight of your faith is crushing me. I can only slack off a teensy bit if you say stuff like that. So he's still gonna slack off, just less than usual. With the onset of these new duties, Jinnia's schedule was jam-packed with one task after another starting tomorrow. That being said, Ginny is pretty shrewd when it comes to these things. He'll be in his element. I get the feeling he'll find ways to cut corners while making his role look like a breeze. I had to weather the storm called Ginny and myself through the latter half of our journey. However, he'd never asked me to do the unreasonable or given me a work or given me work I couldn't handle. I respected his skillful balancing act, or more accurately, his expertise at finding the minimum effort necessary to finish a task. Hey! Work smarter, not harder. Like Aless said, though Jinnia doesn't usually utilize all his effort, he's undeniably skilled and capable. Alas, I put a lid on my idle musings and shifted the bags in my hands. Anyway, I know one thing for sure. We're going to be prizzy, pretty busy from now on. And as his secretary, I should work hard and support him in any way I can. Yeah, maybe it's just nighttime in the game. I don't know, but like, or I'm just, it's like, I, I don't know what it is. Like the background seems so much prettier. It could just be nighttime in the glow because we're used to seeing them during the day. And I just, like my brain forgot the nighttime ones, but like, there's just something about them. I don't know. Ginny's Manor was located on the outskirts of Arthur in a high-end residential area where many other aristocrats live. We finally get to go into his house. According to him, his family home was a little too far away, so he bought a convenient house to live, in al to live alone in. In his eyes, buying a glamorous manor seems no different from renting a room at an inn. That's terrifying in its own way. You know, manor buying aside, the place wound up being too big for him, so he only uses one room. Sheesh. I griped about what a waste it was as I pushed open the manor's front door. He only uses one room, like, yeah, there's something about... Maybe, again, maybe it's nighttime in the way they're just, like, so soft and, like, almost watercolor. You know what I mean? There's just a softness to them. Like, a little... A, I don't want to say a glow, because obviously that's the lanterns. But you know what I mean? Like, oh, look, there's the little thing that he wore on the chair. The ch I want to keep calling it a chinchilla, whatever it was. The raccoon, the squirrel, the thing with the big poofy tail. Anyway, you there, Ginia. I bought everything you asked me to. Oh my! Welcome, my dear. I'm a bit preoccupied at the moment, so go ahead and make yourself at home. Hey, I'll do the usual. His muffled voice granted me permission from the depths of the manor. I then scanned the chaotic room, muttering, Now then. I rolled up my sleeves and used a hair tie to put my hair up. I suppose cleaning comes first and foremost, just like every other night. Ugh, seriously? He opened up a new one again. Let's count of how many times I've told him to use up what he's got first. Grumbling to myself, I pick up an eyeshadow palette off the ground. Only the warm colors had been depleted. I'd already had an inkling during our travels, but I recently confirmed that Ginny was frankly horrible at tidying up. It wasn't that he liked a messy environment. Far from it, in fact. He actually liked things clean and orderly. The problem was that he had too many things. His belongings increased faster than he could diminish them. I feel that. I think we'd be problems for each other because I'd be like, is that yours or mine? Who knows? 
Two of everything. Before I became a secretary and started popping by to clean up now and then, a housekeeper had been a must. He's a real handful. Yeah, but I love him so fucking much. Luckily, there were many vacant rooms, so I didn't have to worry about running out of storage spaces. I mean, seriously, Ginny, you've got your makeup room, you've got your closet room, you've got this... You've got so many rooms. Most of us don't have the amount of room. I chucked non-essential items into other rooms while I cleaned his. Then there came the sound of a door opening behind me, coupled with a contented voice. Phew, nice and refreshing. And thanks for all your hard work, Spacey. Hmm? You too. I was too busy organizing his ridiculously large power pile of foundation to face him. Give me a moment, I'll finish tidying up in no time. Okay. Oh, before I forget, and did you buy that toner for me? You mean the new one by Lorian's? Right? Oh, you mean the new one by Lorian's, right? Yes, I did. As for the wallet you entrusted to me, it's... Waiting to point him toward the table, I turned around. And the sight of him brought my thoughts to a screeching halt. Okay, this is like when, when we're too busy to look at him, I'm like, there's going to be something. There's got to be something. Because it, it's not like, oh, I was just talking and whatever. They made a point like, I was too busy to turn around and I'm like, something is happening here. And here we go. Oh my god, are we getting a CG? Oh my god, Ginny with no makeup on. Glossy golden locks gleaming with moisture clung to his smooth cheeks. Droplets of water slid down his arm, tracing his slightly protruding veins. Oh my god, and he's shirtless. Oh god, game. Oh god, game. Oh dear god. It was the... It's not the without makeup. It's the Ginny is, like, completely shirtless, and we're just staring at his chest right now, and I think I'm gonna faint. I knew what they were doing. <laughs> oh god. They were like, you've waited so long. Here you go. The first CG in his route's gonna make you cry. I'm gonna die. Because I can't handle this. And, and the fact that she's getting a little, like, drooly over here. His toned, slender chest rose and fell with every leisurely breath, evoking a sensual vigor. Girl! She is hard up for this man like the rest of us. <gasps> My throat tightened and I let out a wheezy squeak like a broken flute. That's exactly how I feel, though. The rest of my sentence whooshed right out of my head, leaving zero brain cells left behind. <gasps> they wrote this route knowing full well this is exactly what all of us Ginia lovers were going to feel. And they were like, we're going to do this CG and you're all going to literally have no brain cells left. And they weren't wrong. A hoarse whisper that threatened to melt into the night tumbled from my lips. Ooh. Oh. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Stop it. Guys, I'm gonna cry. Guys, I might actually cry. The tears are welling up in my eyes. This is so beautiful. This is every this is all I needed. You don't have enough to we could be done here. I don't want it to be done here, but good god. Why would you bless us like this? You know what? No! <laughs> It was a good idea to do this route first. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm a little emotional because, like, hormones. Okay. So, like, every time I'm like, I'm just a little stressed out. Like, I'm, so I'm just a crying mess to begin with. But this is so goddamn glorious and beautiful. And look at his beautiful face. I mean, he is shirtless, so that is a lovely thing. But just look at his goddamn beautiful face. That is literally... Look at that... Look at the... Just... I... I don't... Oh, my God. Oh, it was so good doing this route first. Oh, it was so worth it. Oh, sweet Jesus. It's so hot in here. Oh, I need a fan. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. This is the good stuff. I can feel my pores tightening. I can feel my chest tightening. This was a stranger. Ah, oh, my skin's positively singing. And no one can beat Lorian's in the skincare department. I mean, even without, like, he is, look at how beautiful he is, and he's got 18-foot-long eyelashes. A complete and utter stranger. On reflex, I stagger to step back. Um, God, he's so glorious. I'm so, I, I appreciate this game so hard for not letting the CG go. Yet the man before me wrung his hair and walked closer as though I hadn't done anything out of the ordinary. Does he not realize the effect he has on us? Is he clueless, or does he know? You have pretty skin, too, so you should start taking good care of it early on. 
What I use is a little pricey for commoners, but they also offer a solid range at lower prices. So let's go shopping sometime. Oh. Wait, you also brought... You also bought tea. Huh? Uh, yeah. You seem to be running out when I came here last time, so... <laughs> You're the best, Spacey. I can always count on you. Please boot me on the nose and tell me I'm a good girl. And then I might die. Please don't ever leave this CG. It's nothing. I'm just saying. You set... Game, you set this... You set us up with this first CG? You cannot go down. We have to just keep going harder. So my expectations are through the roof already? You can't disappoint me. Although, to be fair, even if the rest of the... I will just live in this CG, and this is... This will be fine. I'm pretty sure I can just live with this. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Holy hell. Anyway, it it's nothing. It's everything. Did you just... Okay. Do, what are you doing, bird? You got a few minutes, okay? Hey, who lives with a strange expression? You've been acting mighty peculiar. No, I... I I'm normal. I am normal. Not, I'm normal. It's I am normal, which is the most unnormal thing you could say. Spacey loves. Oh, that's me. Spacey loves normal. And that's the weirdest thing you've said all night, you know. Because <laughs> I can't. Words, brain cells, none left. The man furrowed his brow in confusion, perhaps disconcerted by my reaction. I avoided his eyes with all the effort I could muster as I voiced the question on my mind. Um, more importantly, where is Jinnia? <laughs> Are you Jinnia? Like, like this, like he's a completely different man. He doesn't look completely different. He's just not wearing all the makeup that he usually wears. And he's shirtless. I'm assuming she's never seen him shirtless before. Or without a face full of makeup, so. Oh, we have to create a save here. Already. I guess that's the difference between, uh, um... We'll save on, we have another one? We have 11. Okay, so we'll start on 11. That's where we'll save. Oh my god! This will be the best forever, because now when we go into the save files, look what we get to see. Oh, that CG staring at me. Anyway. Are you Jinnia? I guess where's Jinnia is the, maybe the route to the good end, not the best end. Finding down my urge to look away, I made myself look up into his face once again. Oh my god, and then they zoom in on his face! <sighs> listen, listen, listen. Don't get me wrong, I'm extremely thirsty just looking at the whole entire CG, the whole package, the man's shirtless. Okay, fine. That's nice. But it's his face that is the most distracting. I get it! Beautiful body. No, that's not what I- I am looking at this! This is- This is- <sighs> And then you zoomed in on it! If I... Okay. If I was still sitting on my bouncy ball, like I used to do when I re would record, instead of moving my comfy chair, so I'm like, curled up in my com I would have fallen the fuck off of that shit, and I would have cracked my skull into a wall. Okay? I would have fallen over. I would be dead. I can't physically fall over in this chair, but I want to yeet myself over the side of it, because... This makes me want to fall over so hard. I'm going to fall down my stairs when I'm done recording here. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm. S my legs are jello. Stop it. You know what? Don't, don't game. I'm going to need you to hit me harder. Next CG better one up this. Narrowed box like eyes that danced with teasing mirth. A nose that traced a dignified, elegant arc. Intricate, well-defined features. God, he's gorgeous. Naturally, he gave off a completely different impression without makeup. But I could no longer keep my denial about this man's true identity. Ugh. You're Ginia, right? Isn't that obvious? How could you mistake me for anyone else? I love the fact that the CG just keeps getting closer and back and closer and back, and they just don't- They just keep the CG here. They're like, let's kill you. Were you not dead already? You're dead now, bitches. <sighs> I love them. He leaned his face forward, beckoning me to get a closer look, but I frantically stepped back. I, I mean, you seem completely different from usual, so... 
Well, yeah, this is my face on natural. Is it more hideous than you thought or something? Th that's not what I mean. In fact, you're much manlier than I expected. And really? Because I think he's so goddamn gorgeous. I mean, okay, yes, look at his body, manly, sure. But like, his face is so gorgeous either way. I quickly stopped myself before I made an omission I couldn't take back. How could I think that about Junia? How could you not? How did you not see him before, all made up and glorious, and not fall in love with him hard? And then now you see him without his makeup on and be like, oh, you're, you're just as fucking gorgeous and fall even harder. How were you not all fucking fakakted every time this man shows up? As I stood there speechless, Junia shrugged. Then he smiled, his eyes crinkling at the corners. It's the first time I'm showing you my nude face, after all. I get why you'd be stunned, but take a good look at reality. I am me, the fabulous former leader Jinnia, whom you respect with all your heart. Respect isn't quite the right word. <laughs> but this theoretical pump is... Yeah, but, but this theoretical pompous way of speaking was definitely Jinnia, no doubt about it. Oh, 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 and then she gets the pan up. Relieved, I took deep breaths before gazing at him once more to be sure. I like how he's just standing there. It's not like you see me without makeup for the first time. It's the, also, did you notice my manly dress? Like, trust me, I've noticed everything. Right. I'd only been taken aback because it had been too sudden. If I really looked, it was obvious. The only difference was that he'd undressed a bit. But the person in front of me was the familiar... Oh. Yeah, his facial expression changed slightly. You perv! What? I told you to take a good look, but you're devouring every inch of me. Even I get embarrassed, you know. Ah, uh, I'm not looking at you like that! I am. I am absolutely looking disrespectfully. Junia shot me a meaningful sidelong glance, and I found myself shouting to him to redirect my jumbled emotions. It's your fault to begin with for wearing so little, Jinnia! Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I swear. I just got out of the bath, so it's not like I had much of a choice. Ugh. But, well, I suppose it was a bit too spicy for a young child, hmm? I'm already 17, you know. You're still far from an adult if you say things like that. And then aside, you should be careful, my dear. He prodded my forehead with his finger and flashed a bewitching smile at me. Yeah, don't... I should be careful? You should not show up in your own house undressed like this, because maybe I can't control my vagina. Maybe I'm going to throw it at you. Like, listen, I'm going to turn the tides here. Most men are like, oh, I can't control my penis. Oh, if you look at me like that, I'm not going to be able to control myself. Oh, yeah, get a... Get, but you know what? I, well, let's turn the tables. I can't control myself. I'm literally going to throw myself at you right now. Okay? So, whatever. See how you like it. <laughs> No, to be fair, I wouldn't be able to move from this spot. My legs would turn to jelly and I would just fall over on the floor. So. You're lucky that you're with me tonight. If you make such a cute face in another man's house. Go on. <laughs> There's that scenario. Oh, we just keep the, the CG just keeps coming and I love it. He'll eat you right up. Oh my god, why won't you? I'm intrigued by the mystery of it. Because again, like I mentioned, like someone on Twitter being like, there's a reason why you couldn't date him. And they kind of explain it. So I'm like, okay, my mind's going crazy with all these possibilities. So Jinnia, are you, did you just always like, are you like me, Jinnia? Are you just demisexual where you're like, I'm just not really interested in anybody, but you got to get to know people. And then all of a sudden that's when the sparks fly and you're like, I will pounce on you. You know what I mean? Where, like, everyone else is like, oh, cute girl, and, like, whatever, and, like, okay, like, whatever, I kind of like her, but you, like, don't have that attraction level. Takes a while to get there. It's like you're digging through all the shit that's inside of you, and you're like, oh, there's my attraction to other humans. Sure, yeah, it exists. It's somewhere in there. It's your internal, like, finding that is just as difficult as trying to find anything in your cluttered fucking house. You know what I mean? Because then, like, then I get it, and I appreciate it. It was the finishing blow. The moment I saw his red tongue dart out to lick his lips, 
And now you're teasing me. You're not like, if you were in anyone else's house, he'd eat you up. And then you just lick your lips at me? You are literally, oh my god, sir, how dare you? Keep doing it. My flimsy, shredded composure finally collapsed. My entire body flared with heat. It sounded like she fell, because that's what I want to do. I clapped my hands over my red cheeks as Ginny had tugged on clothes in my periphery. I, 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 I'm going home! I'll go home, okay? Staggering on clumsy feet, I made to leave. He's also pulling on clothes while we're... You, 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 but you, were you at least wearing pants? I was like, if you're pulling on... I mean, I know he wasn't fully fucking naked, okay? But, like, you were shirtless. So I'm assuming you at least had pants on or something, because it's not like I came out with a towel around my waist. Because then you're pulling on pants and I can see your ass, sir. Oh, you're leaving already. Oh, you can just stay the night here. No way! This place, this atmosphere, it was just too much. I was fit to burst. I'm off, thanks for having me. All right, see you tomorrow. I bounded out of Ginny's house, bumping into all kinds of things along the way. Does he realize what he did to us? When I got home, I rushed out a hello to Radiant Sephira and... and Sephira, wow, I was like, I was, I couldn't read that because I'm like, ah, about Ginny and myself. Rady and Speria. Then I flung my bedroom door open and dove on, dove into bed. I don't think we've ever seen her room before. Ugh. My chaotic emotions spilled out of my mouth. I'd known that Ginny was a man from the beginning, of course, and it wasn't like he'd hidden it or anything. I mean, and yet... During our tour around the world, that fact had seemingly slipped my mind. We'd gushed about fashion and he'd given me makeup advice. In a group where I was the lone girl, he was the only one who'd engage in more typically feminine topics, so he was special to me. Were you just assuming he was gay? It was like, you know, maybe he's just bisexual. Okay, I don't know. Honestly, that was one of my thoughts when it was like, there's a reason why he couldn't... Because he was in a relationship with a lest... And he didn't realize he was bisexual and not fully gay. And, like, and now it's going to be, like, a, th a three-way thing. Because, like, works for me. Listen. You know I'm always trying to fit my man harem or my troubles in here. <laughs> in reality, I'm a one-person person. Like, it'd be like, no, I don't want, like, multiple. That's too much. That's too much shit. I couldn't handle that. But, like, in these games, man harem, let me have them all. And, like, let me whore my way through this game, okay? But, like, you know. I felt that we had a laid-back, comforting relationship in which the concept of gender hadn't been a part of the equation. Yet the person I saw today, well... It held this CG on for so long, and then two seconds later... You know what? This is the kind of flashback I like, game. This is the kind of flashback we need! Okay, not the, like, Hi, how are you? I'm good. I reflected on what we talked about. Hi, how are you? And you're like, that was literally two lines ago. No, I want this flashback. That CG was literally three lines ago, but I really appreciate you flashing back to it in case I forgot because I'm not going to complete. This is the best. This is the best kind of flashback. Okay? We need this more. Flashback to this CG as often as you want, game. Every two minutes because it lives rent-free in my fucking brain now. Just like Van Helsing's butt crack. Okay? There's certain CGs that it's like people are like, do you remember this? I don't remember important dates in my life. I'm lucky I remember how to spell my name or my birthday, but I will remember Van Helsing's butt crack and I will remember Ginia like this. Okay? <laughs> there is some shit you don't forget. He was a man through and through. Well, Take that for a test drive. I mean, obviously, but I'm just saying, let's, let's, let's do a little more exploration of Ginia. My heart still thundered in my chest. I felt like I'd learned some forbidden secret. Not a boy. An attractive, fully grown man. Sensing the budding feeling that threatened to blossom in my heart, I hurriedly stamped it down. Ginia is Ginia. No more, no less. Now calm down, Spacey. You still have work tomorrow. Or today. Because I'm recording this on my lunch break. At least, that's what I told myself. Until the moment I closed my eyes and fell into, a, into dreamland at last. No, even in my dreams, I found no escape. 
His image, which had been seared into my mind, stubbornly refused to leave. All of us, literally. Literally all of us. But this is the perfect place to leave part one. Oh my god. This is better than I could anticipate. This is this is more than I could have hoped for. Oh my god. But can I save here? I can. Okay. I just want to make sure I could save here. But anyway. Uh, so yeah, I will... I'm just going to save right now. And we're just going to do... I But anyway. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to see more. Oh, <laughs>